this no tin can? This tin can, yeah. I could pop his head off and scoop out the beefaroni inside him any day. Today we're going to be talking about the Bandai Ultra Action Ultraman Z Savengar. Savenger Savengar finally got the Ultra Action treatment, and as I said last time, three solid stars. The figure looks fantastic, but does it perform fantastic? Let's find out. Yeah, we're rewriting the script of the Shinra Jira genome by talking about articulation first, but I do think it rather crucial. First up, flappy motion at the shoulder, swivel at the shoulder, swivel at the bicep, in and out hingeronian cheese at the elbow, swivel at the wrist, in and out motion at the thigh, little bit of back motion, a little bit of forward motion, really not too much, a rather lovely bend at the knee, and a pivot and swivel at the ankle. Nothing at the waist, nothing at the head. Basic, yes, but it just works for Savengar. If I could really change anything about the articulation on this guy, it would be just to have the legs move forward and back a little bit more. But much like Rebel Tech Daimajin, I'm perfectly fine with the splits. So I am going to be awarding Moodbot over here a solid star in terms of articulation. Now we can talk about paint and detail. The paint and detail on Ultra Action Savengar is honestly really dang good. Unfortunately, he does suffer from half painted nature, yes. Half of his waist is painted, half of his neck area isn't painted, the jetpack on the back isn't painted, and his mood bot diaper isn't fully painted either. But that just about covers everything that isn't painted. I'm really loving the grill paint we got on Savengar's uh, grill and his little forehead grill. I'm loving the solid black pupils he's got in his eyes and his very vibrantly yellow eyes. Truly, truly loving his Flava Flav clock on his chesticle over here. And what paint is present on his chest and waist area I think is really, really awesome. I mean, this area in general just looks fantastic. And even though this is made out of plastic, it still very much has that same effect that Vinyl Mood Bot had. Certain areas like the chest over here has that look and feel that the suit had in the show. It just comes off kind of foamy, like this. And since this line could be likened to that of a SH Figuarts budget line, I really do have to give the detail credit, man. That's really impressive. And unlike the paint, that very foamy looking detail does continue out throughout the entire figure. The details on the biceps and on the forearms carry out all the way through, as does the magnificent detail for the fingers over here. I really gotta hand it to Bandai. They knocked this guy out of the park. All the little details match up. Savengar looks like Savengar, and that's all that matters. I can nitpick this, but I can't honestly call this a bad thing to do. I do know Bandai could do better when it comes to the paint. And I know when it comes to my status as a person who talks about figures on the internet that I should be 100% honest with my ratings and such, but... Given how much I really do like this figure, I really can't not give it a solid star in terms of paint with everything that is painted. Yes, do I just wish they would stop with the half-painted nature of these things? Absolutely. But I really just don't have it in me to give this a half a star when it looks this friggin' good. And now I can continue talking about the detail, because this guy's got quite a lot of detail. Thankfully, detail is something that Bandai won't sacrifice, and I really do have a question, though. Why has he got some faint gold paint on his shin areas over here? I mean, something like this probably happened as they were painting the little dots on his waist area or even his Flavor Flav Savengar mood bot clock. But I gotta ask, just why? You can even see a little bit of that on his forearm over here, but not so much over here. So this is an accident, and I will just ask again, why? But that will not lead to the changing of my rating for the painting on this figure, because just look at this. Why does this thing look so good? Finishing up my talk about detail, the feet are rather bland on either side, but they look fantastic from front on. And even though his backside remains unpainted, the amount of detail that went into his back and these engines, jetpack, whatever the heck you want to call them. It just looks awesome. It really, really does. Yeah, it would have looked equally as awesome with more paint here, paint over here, paint over here, and paint over here, and paint over here. But I'm not going to get picky here when it comes 
to the detail, this guy is just solid. There's even tiny little minute details on the back of his head as well. Yeah, that's gonna be another solid star from me in terms of detail. Three solid stars, and I can honestly and comfortably say, if you're gonna get any kind of ultra action figure ever, just, just, just get this guy. I really don't think I can praise this thing any more than I already have. Solid on detail, good enough paint, fantastic articulation, all for what, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that? That's a friggin' steal. And now let's talk about the one other thing that I haven't talked about with this figure yet, and that is his beefy as heck box. This is a great, great looking box. I mean, we've got Savengar on the front looking awesome as heck. Looks like he's being backed by a bit of a Baja Blast colored galaxy, especially right up here. And then, you know, you got the little galaxy blast over here with his name in the back, and that's where the figure would sit. And just look how beefy this friggin' thing is. Beefy, beefy, beefy. And here we have everything that is on the back of this here box, showcasing some poses you could get with this guy. And yes, he can absolutely hold a pose like this. Let me show you. And since I am so confident in this, I am going to try and make him as opposite side heavy <laughs> as possible. I don't know the proper term for any of that, but honestly, just feel it out a little bit. And there you go. You've got Savengar doing a, well, I really don't know what in the heck he's actually doing here. There we go. Much better. Looks like he's actually trying to throw a punch and not tiptoe through the tulips or something like that. Hey, oh, you know what? Since I brought him out, let's do a little comparison between these two, huh? Save for the obvious difference in articulation, I think Bandai Ultra Action Savengar comes out on top in more than a few areas. I think genuinely when it comes to Savengar being molded in plastic, he just ends up looking better. Granted, a couple of months ago I would have told you that this is the ultimate Savengar figure, but finally getting something like this in, it really does show the capabilities of that of plastic when it comes to robots. I don't know, this silver is just a little bit too silvery for me, especially after getting this guy in. Yeah, when it comes to paint, something like this is fully painted, whereas something like this is only painted on the front. Eh? But then you get something like this where all of these are painted in a color that looks a lot more accurate than something like this. The eyes are an accurate yellow as compared to this deeper fungal yellow. But then you've got the strengths of Vinyl Savengar having all the paint all the way around over here, over here, over here, and on the Savengar diaper down here. Granted, yeah, not everything on his back is fully painted painted, but just what is painted really, really helps. Mind you, another strong four point for Bandai Ultra Action Savengar is that all of these major areas are actually painted when compared to Vinyl Savengar. I don't mean to put my love for vinyl figures on blast here, but sometimes plastic just kind of looks better. There, I said it. Size comparison time, small, medium, large, related. Head to ankle pivot, excellent. Lacking on paint per the Ultra Action norm, but what is present is absolutely prime. As someone who missed out on the SH Figuarts Arts and Bandai DX mood bot, this is a great filler. And it's better than just filler. It's a fantastic articulated figure in and of itself. And for that, I really couldn't say a bad thing about it. And that's about going to wrap it up on Bandai Ultra Action Savengar. Seriously, get this guy. If you don't want to pay the secondhand prices of SH Figuard Savengar or even the Bandai DX Savengar, this guy, he's a great alternative. I've been Shinrabjira. Hope you enjoyed. See y'all next time. Peace.